This is Task Spoon, the series where I aim to complete the collection log by doing one randomly generated task at a time. After completing the medium tier, I'm ready to attempt some of the longest and hardest challenges yet as I move on to the hard tier. Welcome to Season 3 of Task Spoon. Hello, everybody, and welcome to episode 115 of the Taskman series. In the last video, I finally acquired the Basilisk Jaw that I worked so hard to get, and uh, it was quite the journey. I really can't go over everything that happened in that episode, so I would recommend going and watching it. Uh, but yeah, I've been hard at work editing that episode. It is very long. It has taken me a long amount of time. As you can see by the inventory, I've just been mining stars the whole time. I'm at 14,000 stardust and about to get my second mining level of this editing grind. Uh, so I'm going to go finish that and then I'm going to tell you about my plan for this episode. Over the last 33 days during my Basilisk Jaw grind, I've done a really poor job at like being an Iron Man. And what I mean by that is upkeeping the supplies and doing farm runs and birdhouse runs and Zolver kills for scales and trying to do my daily corrupted gauntlet and all those types of things. So this episode is more of just an intermission episode, giving myself a little bit of a break from the task grinding. And I'm going to try and restock the bank a little bit. As you might be able to imagine, 33 days of grinding Slayer for Basilisk tasks. I used a lot of supplies. So I'm going to try and restock the bank, restock the supplies, and like I said, do a little bit of Zolra, do a little bit of Corrupted Gauntlet, and see what else we might be able to fit in there. Now, the good news is, because I've been doing Slayer, I actually have a lot of herbs and herb seeds. So one of my main goals this episode is to try and farm through as many herb seeds as possible, get all the herbs, and I actually think I already have enough herbs banked for 90 herb lore. Uh, so that is another one of my objectives for this video. I have to go and gather a bunch of secondaries, make a bunch of potions, and get that herb lore level up. And yeah, I would love to end the episode with at least one new collection log slot. Uh, most notably, an armor seed from Corrupted Gauntlet would be excellent. Uh, and if not that, maybe a jar or a pet or a mutagen from Zalra. I don't really know, uh, but it feels bad when I don't get a single collection log in an episode. So hopefully we can get one of those too. This is what I was talking about in the bank, by the way. I have a lot of herbs. <laughs> I just need to collect some secondaries, but yeah, definitely have 90 herb lore banked with all this. So I cleaned all the herbs that I have in the bank just so I can sort of visualize what I've got a little bit better. And yeah, I've got a lot of experience here, especially if I can find a way to get some Zamorak wines. Uh, these dwarf weeds alone are 230,000 experience, but I think I might actually have enough for 91 banked here. Uh, it all depends on how easily I can get the secondaries. So I'm going to start gathering those, uh, and we'll see how far I get. I'm going to start with the Mortmire Fungus. I'm going to need a lot of Mortmire Fungus. I've already got 1,800 Aventos and 72 seeds in the bank to farm. So yeah, I'm going to try and get maybe like 3,000. Hopefully it shouldn't take me more than a couple hours. And in case you were curious the method that I'm using to get these, I am taking my Draken's Medallion to the Theater of Blood. I then click on this tile right here where there is a log spot that has four logs that you can cast with one bloom. I then fill up my inventory, take my Draken's Medallion back and bank over there and then just run back here. Uh, and then anytime I run out of prayer, I have a dueling ring and I just go to the Ferox Enclave. Uh, I'm pretty sure there are slightly faster methods, especially if you have a closer bank teleport, like a crafting cape or something, but this works out nicely. I basically use no supplies other than a few dueling rings, and yeah, it's just pretty quick, pretty fast. I like having a four log slot, it just makes it easier for me. All right, 2,961 Mortmeyer fungus collected. That should be good for a while. I'm going to go and start my farm runs and my birdhouse runs. I'm going to try and keep track of how many I managed to do in this episode. Uh, that way, I'm sort of holding myself accountable to actually go and do them because I've been very lazy. And I think it'll be fun. So let's go do it. I've also managed to get a lot of trees. I have a lot of magic seeds, dragon fruit. I, mean, I just got a lot of trees to get through. So I'm going to try and get back to the tree runs as well. I am currently 96 farming. It would be cool to get a farming level in this episode. I don't know if, oh, hello. I don't know if that's really possible, but yeah, that's my objective. I wasn't even recording, but I got another bottomless compost bucket. Cool, I guess. Wow, those are 600k, what the heck? 
I don't think I really have a purpose for a second bottomless compost bucket, and this thing's worth like 600k, so yeah, cool, refilling the coffer. Next on the list is red spider's eggs, so I'm gonna be killing some spy deans and collecting their eggs. Uh, I think this is the fastest way for Iron Men to get red spider's eggs, apart from like maybe killing Seracnus or Spindle or any of those guys, but this is gonna be the easiest for me, so. All right, there we go, 1,400 red spider's eggs collected, should last me a while. Uh, didn't take too long, maybe like an hour and a half. And next, I need to get some more bird's nests, which obviously I'm doing my birdhouse runs partially for that reason. But also, uh, I recently got full Darox, and I haven't used it for anything yet, so I'm gonna go whack the giant mole a little bit, because I think that'll be fun. One of the reasons I thought this might be fun is obviously because Darok hit hard is fun, uh, but the other reason is uh, there's actually two more combat achievements I need to get a giant mole, one for killing it 25 times and one for killing it with only four instances of damage. So I'm going to try and get both of those while I'm here and maybe a pet would be cool. Obviously I'd like that eventually, but yeah, just thought it'd be kind of fun. Oh, and there's the achievement I was talking about, literally on the next kill. <laughs> cool. Oh, my recorder wasn't on, but there's the last combat achievement I needed here, so cool. Now we're just hunting for more stuff for bird's nests and the pet, maybe, hopefully. Well, that was fun. Uh, gonna end at 69kc there. Took me about an hour. Uh, I was just more or less waiting for my next hourly things to be ready, which they are, so yeah, cool. Uh, didn't get too many mole parts to trade in, but, eh, you know, anything helps. I'm almost done editing the last video, and I'm actually about to get my... Uh, I'm about to get my second mining level of this editing grind, 86 mining, very nice. Well, there goes 1.6 mil making all these potions, but... Oh, look at all the experience just waiting for me to take it, it looks so good. So I went and did the math, and with these unfinished potions, if I turn them into the things that I plan to turn them into, which for everything other than the toad flax, I already have the secondaries for uh, the toad flax. I need a few more crushed nests, but like I said, that's why I'm doing the birdhouse runs, or at least one of the reasons. Uh, but yeah, if I do all of these potions, I should get just over a million herbler experience, which should be plenty to get me to 90 for sure. Uh, I haven't done the math on what 91 needs, but I think I'm going to be close to that too. So, yeah, now I just gotta do it. Oh well, here we go. So, apparently I need 1,230,000 experience to get to level 91. Uh, with, if I include these Torstoles, which is another 60k-ish, and I can get some secondaries for these Dwarf Weeds, uh, I can actually get to 91. Uh, I didn't include either of those in my math. So, 91 is possible, but I wouldn't say probable. And this is going to be the first of the Herblor levels in this video, 89 Herblor. I put the XP tracker of the three relevant skills on screen here, so you can sort of keep track of how I'm doing and how much progress I've made. Uh, now, the XP per hour is going to be very inaccurate because these XP trackers have been going for a while now, and I'm obviously not training those skills individually. Uh, but yeah, I just thought that'd be a nice way so you guys can sort of see how I'm doing throughout the video and keep track of the progress yourselves. And that is all of the Aventos made into super energy potions. Very nice. At some point, I'm going to have to go back to the rooftop agility courses and actually get more Marks of Grace. Uh, I believe I have, like, zero, and, like, no amylase either, so if I ever want to restock the staminas, I'm gonna have to do that eventually, uh, but for now, I'm not gonna really worry about it. And the last of my Snapdragon potions, uh, and great timing, because all my things are ready to go. Uh, but yeah, we are cruising through the Herbler XP, already almost 50% of the way at a 90, and yeah, still got lots to go. And there is the Prayer Potions. I realize that there's been a lot of herb lore so far in this episode, so I think I'm gonna do a couple of those other things I mentioned, and right now I'm feeling like some corrupted gauntlet, so I'm gonna go send some of those and hope for an armor seed. Ah, just kidding, my ping is spiking like crazy right now, so I'm just gonna continue making potions for the rest of the night, and hopefully tomorrow morning it's better. And there is the last of the super attacks, 83% of the way to 90. 
All right, and here it is, the big level 90 herb lore. I can now make super combat potions without needing to boost, and I can make overload pluses in the chambers of Zarek. Obviously, that's a little ways away, but both extremely useful. So, yeah, that's great. And that is the super defenses done. And the super strengths. Oh, hello, and good morning to the gamers. It is a new day, and I've got a lot to do. Uh, my video will be going live tomorrow, so I gotta finish doing the things. I gotta go get a thumbnail and do all that. And then, as you can see up here, I got my fruit trees, normal trees, herbs, birdhouses, and seaweed all ready to go. So I'm gonna do all those things, and then we will finally head over to the Corrupted Gauntlet and hope for an armor seed over there. Okay, we're here, we're doing it, finally, Corrupted Gauntlet. I mentioned this in a previous video, but I'm finding it hard to stay motivated to continue doing Corrupted Gauntlet, considering that I am now three and a half times the drop rate for an armor seed, and I don't have a single one, and I'm gonna need to get six of them. So just knowing how long that might take me, it's sort of like, I don't know, I, I just, uh, I've got so many other things that I want to do, even though I would love crystal armor and it would be a huge upgrade that would unlock a lot of different methods on the account, it's just sort of hard for me to actually do it, you know? And then immediately after saying that, I mean, I'm, I'm still gonna do it, I just won't be happy about it. And another herb lore update here for you. This is the last of the Lantidime potions. I made as many anti-fires as I could with my blue dragon scales, and then the rest into useless magic potions. And we are at 59% of the way to 91. I also used the rest of my Toad Flax potions, or at least the rest that I had available. Uh, I don't have any more crushed nests, but I've only got 87 left. So like I said, hopefully by the end of this video, I've done enough birdhouse runs that I get to do those. And I actually have 400 more Aventos I get to go and use, along with some Cadentines, and I still have the Torstoles for the Super Combats. So I've actually got quite a lot of experience left, uh, but I've got to go and do my things. I mentioned before that I sort of stopped farming at 96 farming for no particular reason, but getting 99 is actually super useful. If you don't know, the 99 farming skill cape, when you wear it when you're farming herb patches, gives you either 10 or 5% more yield, I don't remember, but either way, it essentially just makes it so all of my herb seeds give me more herbs, which is really important on an Iron Man, especially once I start planting my Renars again and all those useful potions that I'm running out of. So yeah, this farming grind is actually going to be really useful, hopefully, eventually. I mean, I'll still need two more levels even after I get this one, but yeah, every experience is good experience, and I just noticed that these Torstoles are actually really good for farming XP. I haven't really been farming them because I wanted to wait till I had an Addis seed going, which I do now. So yeah, this has actually been going really well. All right, I'm not really feeling Corrupted Gauntlet right now, so I'm gonna send some Zalra. Uh, we are mostly here for Zalra scales, so therefore any of the uniques that I can break down into scales would be great. Uh, obviously the Jar, Pet, and Mutagens would also be awesome. The only thing I really don't wanna see is another Onyx. Uh, I already have one in the bank for when I need to make a torture. And if I get another Onyx, I guess I could make a Ring of Stone for that Seracnus thing. There's a thing with a Ring of Stone that actually becomes useful. Maybe a regen bracelet if I ever want one of those. So I guess an Onyx is okay too. Either way, we're mostly here for scales, so let's just send it. Oh yeah, and in case you're wondering what's going on with this little guy here, uh, I downloaded the plugin that you can customize what your thralls look like to be like any of the pets in the game. And I decided that I'm only gonna use pets that I actually have because I don't actually like having pets follow me around, especially not when I'm doing something dangerous and might have to pay to replace them. Uh, but I thought it was kind of a cool way to in include the pets that I have unlocked uh, in the series and in some combat, even though I don't really want to have them out. Ooh, this could be a PB. Nope, just kidding. Also, people on my stream keep making fun of me for not having a strong rabbit's foot when I do my birdhouse runs, so I'm here to try and figure out how to make one of these things. So what, you just put a put a snare down and then put your ferret in the hole? That sounded more sexual than I meant for it to, and then it runs, does it get caught? Or no, it went to a different one. Can I just keep doing this until it gets caught? Okay, cool! 
All right, well, that wasn't nearly as hard as I thought it was going to be. There we go. Strong rabbit's foot. Uh, if you don't know, this makes it uh, more likely to get bird's nests when you're cutting trees, and it makes it more likely for bird's nests to have stuff in it for them to not be empty when you loot your birdhouses. Uh, particularly, it gives a higher chance to get god eggs, which is what I need for evil chicken pieces. So, yeah, cool. Man, it's so nice to be able to make super combat potions without needing to boost. And there is the last of the torstoles made into super combats. Uh, the super combat stack was looking pretty low after the basilisk grind, so glad to see that back up over a thousand. And we are 77% of the way to 91 herb lore, and the more I do, the more likely it's looking. I still have a bunch of these aventos left, I'm still farming a bunch more. I have all these dwarf weeds, I would just need to go and get wines of Zamorak, which I don't want to do. But yeah, it's looking good. Don't mind me, just having a great time at Zora like usual. Oh, I wasn't recording, but there is 97 farming. Pog. It's kind of annoying trying to do Zora while doing all the rest of this stuff I'm trying to do. Uh, Zora, you need to be on the Archaea spellbook for thralls, or at least that's what I do. And then I have to swap back to the standard spellbook for my farm runs, and I have to swap the gear and the inventory and the runes and the rune pouch, and it's just kind of annoying, so I think I might put it on pause for now. Uh, not to mention, one of the reasons I want Crystal Armor is to be able to do Bofa only Zalra, which is just a lot easier with less switching, and yeah, I, I'm also trying to do Corrupted Gauntlet for that. So I think I'm going to put a pause on Zalra, unless I absolutely need scales, uh, which I don't right now, uh, until I actually get my Crystal Armor seeds, so I guess it's going to be farming, herb lore, and Corrupted Gauntlet for me. Has anyone ever questioned how you take three vials full of liquid and mix them together into one vial of the same size? No? Just me? Okay. So, I'm about 20,000 experience away from 91 herb lore, and I use pretty much everything I have in the bank other than these 62 toad flax potions, which I'm still waiting for some more bird's nests for, and these 1300 dwarf weeds. So I'm going to go and try and get a few wines of Zamorak. I think I'm going to try telegrabbing them in the deep wilderness dungeon. Uh, hopefully I don't die. But yeah, that'll be it. That'll finish off 91 herb lore. And then we can go and focus a little bit more on Corrupted Gauntlet. Hopefully. Maybe. And so this is my first time telegrabbing wines in the deep wilderness dungeon. And it's not too bad. Uh, the respawn rate is very quick. And you get them noted once you've done the hard wilderness diary, which I have. So it's actually been okay. Uh, it just kind of sucks that it's in the wilderness, and like, theoretically, someone could come by and kill me right now, and I just wasted like, half an hour of my life, not to mention losing the 250 wines I just gathered, but I, I guess it was fine. And, more importantly, I didn't die. I'm gonna have to go back there to get more wines of Zamrak when I actually want more range potions. For now, I just sort of wanted the experience out of the dwarf weed that I had in my bank, and there is 91 herb lore, definitely the last of the levels I'm going to get in this video. So last night I had to finish some stuff with my video, letting it render and upload and whatnot, and I decided to just go and run some laps at the Artie Rooftop course to get some Marks of Grace, and this is going to be 80 Marks of Grace. I have no idea how long this took me because I wasn't really paying attention, but it is the next morning. I'm going to go buy some amylase and then go and run and do all my things. I got fruit trees, I got regular trees, I got everything ready. So, yeah, 80 marks of grace should be, what, 800 amylase, which is 200 four-dose staminas. Not so bad. I really wanted to get an armor seed. As you saw there, I sent a few more corrupted gauntlet. Didn't really get anything, but I think I'm going to have to wrap up this video pretty soon. The objective was just to resupply the stuff that I used on the Basilisk Jaw grind, and I'm essentially done. I mean, I got my goals, I got 91 herb lore, I got my farming level, I'm still missing a few bird's nests, but I'll get those in the next day or two. And other than that, I would say this video was really successful. And if anyone was wondering, this is where I've ended up in terms of the potions. 800 Staminas, 950 Prayer Pots, Range Pots, yeah, you can see the thing, I'm not going to go through them all, but it feels good, I, I feel like I can actually go and play the game again, which is nice. I got a couple things I want to do before I wrap up the video, and first things first, I have four god eggs from the birdhouse runs, 
Now, usually I just use these as soon as I get them to save the bank space, and uh, if I ever get an evil chicken piece, you can be sure you'll see it. But we got four, let's see if we can get one. Probably not, definitely not, but oh well. The next thing I want to do, I actually have 31 brimstone keys. Now, in the last video, I actually opened a bunch of brimstone keys sort of in the middle of the video when I needed steel bars and iron ore to make some cannonballs, and I forgot to open the rest of them at the end of the video. So I got 31 brimstone keys, I'm just going to do them right now. Oh my god! My luck on these Dust Mystic pieces is insane. There's no way. I have four... I don't even know... I don't even know where it is. Is it under Slayer? I have four Dust Mystic pieces. No duplicates. In 181 chests. That's insane. Okay, well, just gloves to go, maybe. That'd be sick. What the heck? I don't even know what to say. This is insane. I mean, I already have them, and they're completely useless for me. But still, uh, go away, Miles. Man, that's crazy. The Dust Mystic pieces are individually 1 in 1,000, which means they're approximately 1 in 200 to get a single piece. And I have five of them in 206 chests, and four of them are unique, only one dupe. That's just, that's crazy luck. And lastly, I have 23 long bones and one curved bone in the bank. 16 of the long bones were actually from the Basilisk grind, and I figure why not just turn them in and see the big XP drop and go, ooh, 110,000 construction experience, heck yeah. I really didn't want to have to wait for more birdhouse runs, so I decided to go and get the last of the bird's nest that I needed here at Mole. So there is 10 more giant mole kills, and we can make the last of those brews and end the video. And with this final Ceridoman brew made, we are officially done! So that's gonna be it for this episode. I hope you guys enjoyed and understand that I am still playing in Iron Man, so episodes like this are inevitable. Uh, I need to get all my own supplies and restock everything myself, so every once in a while I'm going to need to take some time to do that. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed, I hope you had some fun, and I'm excited to move on to doing my tasks. And in case anyone cares, I did a total of 21 seaweed runs, 17 herb runs and birdhouse runs, 5 tree runs, 3 fruit tree runs, 2 hispori kills, and 1 hardwood tree run uh, for a total of 1.1 million farming experience as well as making about 9,500 potions for 1.4 million herb lore experience and 119k hunter experience. So, yeah, good. But that's going to be it for me for this one. I will see you guys in the next video. And a big thank you to all of my channel members, but a special thank you to my Tier 3 Big Spoon channel members, Alchemist BTW, Jack Staumer, Zach Martin, Luxeter, Tony Adkins, and Dolph. Thank you guys, and thank you everyone on screen here for the support.